So if you don't know what Cobra Kai is, or if you haven't seen it yet, you're really missing out on a great show. What they've basically done is taken the timeline of The Karate Kid, fast forwarded it around 30 years, and looked at it through the eyes of Johnny Lawrence. Me and my family have been watching this show ever since it started, and it comes highly recommended from us. So give it a look. I guarantee you won't be disappointed. Just a quick little spoiler warning here. Nothing I'm going to talk about uh, is actually a spoiler, but the clips that I'm going to be showing do contain some content that you might be spoiled on. So if you haven't seen it yet, go ahead and pop out now. Go watch it. Come right back. All right. On to the big news that came out yesterday about Cobra Kai Season 3. According to the multiple reports that I read yesterday, YouTube Premium isn't going to be airing Season of 3 of Cobra Kai, but instead they're entertaining several offers from different streaming services. The two streaming services that actually look like they might actually get it is Netflix and Hulu. And uh, this, this is great news for the show, which even with a, on a small platform, still managed to create a loyal fan base, and they did a pretty good job with the show too. I think now, though, with the marketing and the exposure that comes with either a Netflix or a Hulu, it's a win-win for both parties. Personally, I prefer that Netflix gets it. I think that Netflix has a bigger base and more cash to throw at the project. Plus, they already have the experience of running an 80s nostalgia-heavy show, and they were very successful with it. If you just take a look at Stranger Things and this enormous success that it had, a large factor in that success was the 80s reference behind every corner. And I don't believe that there's any better 80s reference than continuing the storyline of a 80s classic like Karate Kid. But we want to know who you think would do the best job. So make sure you write in the comments who you think would do the better job with the series, Hulu or Netflix. So next we're going to move on to the release date, or the lack thereof a release date in this case. Um, there hasn't been any re official release date, but what I'm thinking and partially hoping is that the delay is due to the negotiations that's being conducted right now. Um, whoever gets it should immediately drop season three, though, to take advantage of everyone still being at home, maybe some still being in quarantine. With two seasons, already in the bag, a third dropping as soon as the series is purchased. I'm pretty sure that we're about to start seeing a lot more Cobra Kai fans out there. So that's all for today, guys. I guess um, from everyone here at Happy Farms and everyone here at Flashback Studios, we really appreciate you watching the videos. If you liked it, why don't you give it a thumbs up? If you want to see more videos like it in the future, Hit that subscribe button, maybe even the notifications, and y'all have a great day.